hello everyone thank you for watching this is the second video of the series that is about recovering your windows system so the first one actually i created a recovery drive and now i'm gonna make a backup image so that i can uh, use that recovery drive to restore my system so i'm gonna go to control panel and let's click file history and let's go this on the left corner bottom you will see system image backup i actually bought a 500 gigabyte sata drive so i will use that one for system like system image backup like regularly at least uh, twice in a week so let's do system image backup so basically this is the new drive which is G drive on my computer and it is absolutely new drive I will show you it's showing new volume but I need to change the name so it will be system image and I am not going to keep anything else rather than the system image on this hard drive anyways so now you can see the system image all the letters are capital here that I just renamed it for some reason it's not showing up here it's still not the way I typed but when I select the hard drive it is actually a system image and all are capital and let's go to next so which drives do you want to include in this backup actually the only drive I like to include on this one is the C drive and right now it is has been used about how much about 860 used is 83 gigabyte around 84 gigabyte so it is uh, like auto selected the system reserved and the C and Windows recovery environment system let's go to the next start backup now so this is basically the whole C drive actually it will make the backup and if any time the disaster happens you can use your recovery drive that's the first uh, like video of this series which you created the recovery drive and you can actually make I mean take your computer back to that date where you made the backup so create backup as it's necessary whenever it's necessary I have installed all my like necessary softwares and all the keys has been put as the registered softwares so now it's time to make a backup before it is like affected by any viruses so it is very important you keep your backup now there is some difference between this system recovery disk and the recovery drive if you have a recovery drive you can take back your system to the you know factory reset so everything will be fresh it will be a new windows system there will be no drive like no application installed on it but if you use a system recovery disk that will only help you to recover your system so you need still need a backup point I mean the you know you have a backup system restore point actually I'm sorry and you also need a backup image to restore so the best way to go is have a recovery drive but I would also have a system recovery disk so it's just handy to have both so basically you just have a blank DVD and insert it and just create the disk and that is that's it and you will have your system recovery disk and you can use that one 
for recover your system but to be honest recover drive is more handy to have and to on my next video I will show you how you can recover your system using that recover drive and also I will show you what's exactly inside the system recovery disk have for now thank you